The main way to add content to your website on WordPress is through posts and pages. And they're very similar. If we go to all posts, you can see all the posts that we have, and we'll click on one to actually edit it. And the format, you know, we have the title up here, then the content in here. People can usually comment on posts. If we go to pages, we go to all pages, we can see all of our pages here. Click on one to edit it. And very similar, right? We have the title, the content. People can usually comment on pages. But there are a few key differences between pages and posts. And we're going to look at Pinterest to kind of explain those differences. So pages are usually more high level. This is the blog page for Pinterest, blog.pinterest.com. So we come to this page to find their blog posts. So you'd come to a page to find a post, but you usually wouldn't go to a post to find a page. So, you know, I'm not going to go into this blog post to navigate to another page, but I will come to this page to navigate to a blog post. So pages are more high level and uh, they're usually more for navigation as well. So again, we'll, we'll go to this blog page to find the post or maybe we'll go to this tips page, click on this, and now we see all these posts that have to do with tips. But some pages might not have any uh, posts at all. So we can go to the Pinterest home page And here we can see, you know, there's no blog posts. This is just a static page. And so, yeah, you can have static pages or pages can be used more for navigation. So to help us get to, you know, certain blog posts. And blog posts aren't really used for navigation. It's strictly to convey information. Also, pages might be up here in the uh, nav bar because, again, they're more for navigation. They're helping you get around the the site, but you wouldn't put all of your different blog posts up in the nav bar, usually because there's just too many posts, so it would be super crowded, and it's a lot easier to just have these large pages that then contain blog posts. It's easier to navigate that way. So if I want to go to news, instead of having all the news blog posts up here, I can just go to the news page, and then now that I'm here at this page, now I can scroll around and find the news post that I want to find. And not every website will have posts, but every website must have pages. So even if it's just one page, the home page, that's where the person arrives, that's a page. But if it's not a blog, maybe you don't want posts. So for instance, with my personal resume and portfolio, I have my home page, resume page, and then the portfolio page. But I don't have a blog for this. I just want people to see some of my work and some of my experience. And so there's just three pages. There's no posts because I just don't want them on this site. So you don't have to have posts on every website, but every website has at least one page. So think of pages as kind of like the parent of posts and posts of the children.